Cox, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. We've got something quite special. I'm joined by Gavin. How's it going? It's going well. Yeah. Now, uh, we've got quite a strange looking contraption here. It's quite a big thing, but I'm excited about it. Yeah, what it is, is it's an Echofix EFX2, okay. which is a tape delay. Right. Full, full bore tape delay. I mean, this is, it's quite a hefty bit of gear. Yeah. Um, so Echo Fix um, is a company out of Womberol, Australia, which is kind of near Sydney. Oh, okay. And um, like the name suggests, they were um, a shop that did repairs on old vintage units for years and years. Yeah. Uh, old, you know, Echo Plexes, uh, Space Echoes. So after doing that for years and years, they were like, we know these things inside and out. Uh, we know <laughs> what makes yeah. them fail. We know what we can add to it, all that. And so they started making their own. It's got a lot of the classic features in, in engineering, but it's also, they did a lot of more modern things. Um, also the, the motor, they had they have to make in-house because nothing that was on the market that they could get made for them did the job. Oh, so wow. they had to go that next level. The tape heads themselves, they yeah. had to get re-engineered to their exact specs. So again, that kind of speaks to the, this is not something that's real easy yeah. to recreate. So what would make me choose this over just a regular kind of pedal, I suppose? Most people haven't actually tried a tape echo. A That's the one, thing. Yeah, like, yeah. So if you're a huge delay fan, you really kind of owe it to yourself to do it. Yeah. There's something that happens um, when you play an actual tape echo that's different than like a pedal. Or whatever. Yeah. There's kind of more of a feedback that happens. Um, you can kind of... I always think of it as like the last 5% that gets you from just playing your guitar and with your board and everything to like kind of transcending yeah, into that difference. that other realm there's a dynamic between you and the, the machine in that yeah. way pedals are great i mean if you own this you're still going to own delay pedals i guarantee yeah. that <laughs> but but and you can kick them around and and uh slap them on your board and switch them out and yeah. this and that but um this is kind of the next level it's, it's more of a commitment it. yeah it's you know, it's, it it's, does something you can't get in a pedal, right, essentially, right? Exactly. So that's cool. There's, there's a lot going on here. I mean, I don't know if you can kind of walk me through it just to explain a few of the things. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, I guess we'll start with the tape itself. Mm. Um, you can see it swiveling around It's in pretty there. cool, I've got to say. Yeah, just, yeah. Just even they have to have the extra slack because you're changing the, the speeds and stuff. So obviously oh, okay. that's what you're seeing here. Then around here you have all the the tape heads themselves. There's four playback heads here and then the recording head. Yeah. Um, and so then, at, so as the tape goes around, that's where they're hitting those heads. Mm. The echo mode control here um, basically gives you the different array of heads. Yeah. So one through three is just the one, two, and three head. Mm. Pretty straightforward. Then four through seven, you're gonna get different combinations of the head so you can get kind of more rhythmic right. things happening because yeah. it's skipping some heads and that kind of thing. All right, so I set it up. Uh, I just want to go through these modes so you can hear the different yeah. kind of rhythmic. So right now on three is just a straight repeat. Yeah, okay. And then if you go through, then five. Let's see. Six. This one. And then lastly. Six. Yeah, and that that's where you can kind of get lost in for yeah. sure. It creates them.
Now, what's, uh, what's going on here? I'm not so, sure. down here, yeah, the, a lot of this bottom panel mm. is kind of, like I had mentioned, the kind of more modern features and stuff. So, yeah. um, I guess, let's start here. You have two inputs. Mm -hmm. We're going into the guitar input. It's a high impedance, so it's made for a guitar. There's a line input as well. You can plug in other instruments. Oh, okay, so that's um, cool. Synths are great. You know, yeah. Echo Fix has a really good video where they have a synth plugged into it. You can plug a mic in the back. There's a balanced oh, okay. out, in and out. Mm -hmm. um, and then likewise, uh, more stuff that um, is really cool. You can plug in a or multiple expression pedals here. So you could do one for speed and one for feedback. So if you had two expression pedals, you actually, you don't have to oh, dude, do that. And you can get really, yeah. really crazy That's there cool. without cool. having to come back to the unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you got to, just a foot switch on and off, so obviously you don't have to always be pulling yeah, yeah, yeah. with a delay. And then over here, um, you have just a toggle, so if you if you don't have the foot switch, this kicks your echo on and off. So now you're, and that's, we'll get to the reverb in yeah, a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that, and then you can also do it where you turn off the direct. Okay. So if you play, you're only gonna hear the, the delay, yeah, that's which is cool. kind of cool too. Um, and then one of my favorite features is this motor on and off, yeah, um, which literally kills the motor. So if you let's just try it, I'll, we'll get something built up and then I'll shut yeah. it off and then. And then lastly, there's sound on sound, which is, there's, a, it adds the fourth playback head. Yeah. So it's just adding that on top of whatever mode you're doing. Ah. So there's up to 14 different head combinations. So there's a lot, you a can, lot to work you can do. A lot of fun. Yeah. Now you, you also mentioned reverb. Yes. So on top here, there, first off, it has a spring mm. tank in it. So you can get the real kind of authentic spring sound, which is cool. Yeah. Um, and there's a toggle up here. So let's switch that to spring. Yeah. And then that's controlled with this reverb volume. So. And then you can switch over to the, they have a built-in digital. Okay. And wow. with the digital, you get you can use this reve uh, reverb decay knob and. That's nice though. And then you can actually blend them and have both going. That's um, cool. Let's see. We'll do the reverb test. Now. Lastly, it also has chorus. Yeah. So up here as well, you there's a reverb chorus toggle, and if you switch to chorus, it bypasses the the uh, the reverb, and then the reverb decay and volume actually becomes a intensity and mix for. Right. for the I mean, 
so you're getting an awful lot inside, yeah. you know, uh, just this one system here. I mean, there's a world of sounds available. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting the chorus and the reverb and, but it's all, it all sounds like top quality, to be honest. Now, on the subject of the tape, does this like deteriorate over time? Does it have like a shelf life or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, so with old units, and it's very particular to the to the player, but right. um, a lot of what people think about with old tape units is like a gritty sound, and that's because it's old tape. Yeah. But um, so if you use a tape for a long time and you're recording it over and over and over, it deteriorates and and gets a gritty sound. But right. when they're new, they're very pristine and. Yeah. It's not like um, an analog delay, which is which is darker. It's it's actually quite bright and um, has this nice fidelity to it. But over time, um, yeah, it'll it'll deteriorate, and then you can get new tapes. They they furnish you with two, oh, okay. but um, when you buy it, but you can also get more from them, and uh, they're still doing repairs yeah. and all that. Um, I mean, is that a tricky job to install a tape yourself? I've you can watch a video on their website. It's yeah. pretty straightforward, oh, actually. Um, I know. So I, it's not intimidating. I'd absolutely mess it up. <laughs> well, that's just me, though, because I'm fair. silly. But no, but they do have videos on their website. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's cool. they, and they show you how to clean the heads and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, it, but again, they wanted to make something that wasn't, you know, people baby the vintage units. And so right. you got to remember not to apply that to this unit because this is a modern thing that's meant to be durable you can go on the road with it you yeah. can play it as your regular delay unit um it's like you know people don't want to bring their old vintage amps they don't want to bring an old vintage space yeah. echo that's not what they're going for they're going for something that it's a tool that just you just use it all the time yeah. yeah i mean i'm fascinated by the sound you can get out of it i love loving the echo loving the reverb the whole lot the chorus i mean i'm yeah kind of blown away really yeah you gotta get to kind of lost in it for a yeah. while for i mean i'd love to get one maybe we'll head down to australia we'll get one you've yeah, been to hey, australia yeah man. oh yeah you've been to I'm the half australia yeah, you're half australia that's Look, not man, why i'm pushing this or anything he's half I'm not <laughs> that's why we've got him in he's half aussie isn't he yeah yeah well i do like no, it i'm glad they're great me. i mean i've up until recently um they've been uh, harder to get and so i was really just excited when we were able to become a dealer yeah um yeah, great units. Oh, I mean, I'm going to enjoy playing through one of these and hopefully, you know, it'd be a good thing to get it in maybe in a full band Friday or something as well. Yeah, that, I mean, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be selling them, let's so do they'll it, be definitely. around. So if you do go to Australia, let me know. I'd like okay, to come we'll, with you. We'll know, just I've never <laughs> been. <laughs> yeah, you got to go. Come back with you a few of these in a suitcase. Yeah, I think they're near the beach. So, I mean, that's enough. There you go.